All right, let's try that again. Happy Tuesday. Happy it's snowing in Boston day, so sometimes the power is finicky. How are we all doing today? <laughs> Happy snowy Tuesday. What's up, Ritazby? What's up, Dracovish? Safik Lumna, NWR Donald. Good to see everyone. Um, yeah, that was that was interesting. Um, let's hope that doesn't happen again. You're watching the VOD and you're like, what am I missing? Uh, my power went out like two minutes into going live. So we'll uh, we'll see if it holds. Can't promise it won't happen again, but here's here's hoping. Fingers crossed. Um, we're back with the snap block. How was everybody's week? How was everybody's weekend? On a snow day here, except there isn't even any snow. Nice. Well, it's the best type of snow day. It's not even snowing that much here. Like, I don't think it's actively snowing right now. So maybe it wasn't that. Maybe it was something else. I I don't know. What's up, one Ender Steve? Are we going to get snow poppy content on poppyhg.com? Maybe. Maybe, just maybe, Ritasby, it's already there. Look at this. I put a new a new little a new little page recently. Look at Poppy. Look at Poppy in the snow. Look at Poppy in the snow. She loves the snow. She loves playing in the snow and getting the snow kicked at her. She's so cute. Uh, but yeah, you can watch that on your own time. Okay. Um, anywho. Anywho. Frigid with no school last Tuesday. Since last Tuesday? Are you in like Antarctica? Just finished watching a dog do a speed run at AGDQ. What's AGDQ? Oh, is that something games done quick? No, Iowa. What's the difference? WizCorp, thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. And Quinsferia, looks like I missed um, a s three months from you. Thank you so much, Quinsferia, if you're still here. Awesome games done quick. Ah. Yeah, I only recently dis learned about them. Never seen any videos or anything on that, but I did I did learn about it at TwitchCon. People were all like GDQ, GDQ, and I was like, I don't I don't know what that is. I know what GQ is. Um we are we gotta fight the rival. That's our that's our next plan of attack here, but um we'll we'll let people get adjusted and be like, oh, Flygon is actually live. Finally caught up with the streams. Well, thanks, the Dracovish. What do you think? How we doing so far? Three badges, zero deaths. Could be worse, right? Time to predict. Time to get that <laughs> thick predict. Yeah, okay, we can, um... We can, uh... We can do a prediction. Alright, let's do Deathless. Rival buddy. Um, I ain't wiping, so it's either yes or no, okay? Go go freaking nuts. You can have five minutes while we figure it out. It should be pretty easy. Happy Tuesday, Dr. One Ball. Thanks, Youth Nick. Happy Tuesday to you as well. What a lovely day it is. Thanks so much for the content. I've been watching you on YouTube for years. Thanks, WizCorp. Prish. Appreciate it. You're listening only. Ooh, spooky. All right. So yeah, Rival, turns out, doesn't have too much that we have to deal with, if I'm being honest. Um, he really just has Prinplup, Heracross, uh, Snorlax, and, and Staravia. And Staravia, I think we can just zap out of the sky with a little bit of Plusle and or Manetric action. You know? Jafiel? Oh, yo, let's use Plusle. Who the frick, who the freaking, you know? Bezos. Actually, let's not use Plusle. We'll use Manetric because Manetric's a little, a little better. Because even after an icy wind, he still gets, he still outspeeds the Prinplop. Fine, we'll use Manetric. Yo, Dirty Oxygen, thank you for the five months. How you doing? Good to see you again. Folks, did you know that if you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for free by linking your Prime account to your Twitch account? Uh, takes money out of Jeffrey Bezos' pocket and puts it into mine. Um, I've heard that 
that it literally takes money from Jeffrey Bezos's pocket. Like just, just at the end of every month, they just like go in there and throw it at all the Twitch Prime users, you know? So please do, please do it. It's huge. Saves you some money in that it's free. So I don't know how it saves you money, to be honest. But basically, it helps me get some money and you get free things like emotes or adless viewing or something. I don't I don't know. I don't you know, it's it's it. I, I don't I don't remember. Um, but yeah, so the the one issue is this hexacross. The hexacross is a is a smidgen, a smidgen diff. It's a smidge diff, you know, um, but we got him. We got him. I remember that one guy that said Jeffrey Bezos did more than you did for him. Yeah, <laughs> I hope that person's doing well. And by doing well, I mean, I don't really care about them. But that's, 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 <laughs> that was, that was quite, quite the thing to say. Maybe it was just a misread of the sitch. I, I don't, I don't really know. But it was, it was pretty out there as far as things to say. So... Anywho, uh, ooh, bait it, bait it. Oh, yo, we are so gonna use Swablu again. Queen Blue. Wait a minute. When does Swablu evolve? 385? Jeff Bezos snitched when the teacher forgot to collect the homework. <laughs> uh. Blah, 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 blah. Surely Polyrath kills this this baddie with a, a low kick. He doesn't? Polyrath? One of these days, we're going to have a long discussion about how much you suck. But I guess, you know, whatever, right? Um... Okay, I mean... I mean, it's like... It's kind of like that, yeah? Whatever. Um, who? We got to figure out how to beat this Heracross. I think Sandslash will do it though. Just bring some bulky, some bulky boys. Should be fine. Oh, we can use Glaceon too. I forgot about Glaceon. Like Glaceon is bulky, right? Well, not really. Not really. I mean, I mean, I mean. Is like, yeah, you know, right? Hmm. Um, part of me wants to bring baby blow, baby boy blue, aka the swabster, swab daddy, you know, but perhaps it's not right. Swab on my knob, as it were, you know. Swablu, the swabster. Swabby dobby do. Swab diddy. You know? Glaceon is my second favorite Pokemon of all time only because it looks dupe. It looks dupe. Swabalicious death. Swabalicious death. Swabalicious death, 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 death. Yeah, this is fine. Um, so. Sar. Aces. Yeah, word. Okay, so uh, where's that expert belt? What's a fella got to do to get an expert belt? Why am I only bringing five Pokemon? Because none of these other guys are any good whatsoever at all. That's why. What must a fella do to deal with these Pokemon, these pocket monsters, you know? It's, it's like I'm always saying, you got to catch them all. Bring Luminion for fish power? All right. I'm convinced. 
Does Luminion do anything? Yes. Luminion does exactly something. Perfect. All right, yeah, Luminion's actually fine here. Great. Bring Glaceon just because. Glaceon's had so much fun. We can we can let the fish get some fun, you know? Where is my expert belt? Jesus. Oh, wait, do I not have an expert belt? Uh, Might not have an expert belt. No, certainly I have an expert belt. Yeah. Word. All right, great. That's your problem. Leftovers, 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 and leftovers. Now we'll give you we'll give you the water move, the water water guy, the little fella, you know. Fish. Yo, Flygon, what's up, IB13? It'd be like that sometimes, you know. Um, took a pill in Ibiza. Joe Avicii, I was cool. When I finally woke up sober, I was 10 years older, but fuck it, it was something to do. Crab hammer. I hardly know her. Um, Iron head. Not sure how much of a fan I am of that. No, this is fine. This is fetching, in fact. Low kick. Yeah, whatever. Uh... Oh wait, maybe, maybe we want, we don't want, yeah, maybe, maybe we want a Lumberry on you, yeah, right, yeah, Lumberry makes a bit more sense, all right, 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 okay, that's fine with me, all right, let's do it, finally catching a stream after binging the past three VODs, yo, thank you for the binge VOD, fa for the, 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 the stuff, you know, thank you, thank you for the views. I appreciate it. Uh, and woman. No, we don't want gyro ball. Although, mayhaps I was too hasty, but whatever. Ooh, silver wind. I too like a 60 base power move that doesn't have stab. Yes, please. 10% omni boosts. 10% of the time it works every time. All right, whatever. Um, okay. Those VODs are great to watch slash listen, listen to while working. Aw. Hey, future people who are working right now, remember to take a five-minute break every 30 minutes and just not look at work for a little bit. It helps with productivity. It's something that I try to do, but almost never do, but I try to. So don't do as I do, do as I say. Go ahead, take a five minute break right now. Just go walk around the office or your room or whatever. Go poop on company time. Whatever you gotta do to take a bit of a break, you've been working hard, but do it every 30 minutes or so. That's the important thing, is to compartmentalize the time that you're working. So here, go for it, okay. Howdy, Flygon, hope you're well day. Hope you're well today. Thanks, Major Band Geek. And WizCorp, thank you for the gifted community sub. That's very nice. I'm teaching students. Isn't that a bit redundant? Aren't everybody who's being taught students? That message is not approved by HR. What? What? A healthy work-life balance? You must... Oh, you must... Is this Jeffrey Bezos' burner? You would say that, Jeffrey. Hello, human resources. My employees are taking breaks for their mental health and productivity. Arrest them. No, in fact, just kill them outright. Just murder them in their sleep. How dare they take breaks to improve their long-term productivity and better the company as an end result of having happier and healthier employees. Murder them. Murder them for their sins against the capitalist gods. Sand slash. Murdering employees is definitely approved by HR. I mean, it just depends, right? <laughs> Are the employees... <laughs> um, da, 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 da. Where is my Luminion? Yo, Vlad! 
Thanks for being here, Vlad. Um, why is our little man not giving me... Oh, no, you just didn't type anything. No need for severance pay then? Yeah. Paying for a funeral? Significantly cheaper than severance. Depending on the company and the position, you know? Sometimes you don't even need a funeral fund. Sometimes you just need a knapsack and some stones that offset the weight of the employee's body when you throw them into the Charles River. I mean, a random river. All right, let's do it. If you teach us a new Nuzlocke strat, then are we students? I don't know. I guess. Aren't we all students of the world? Aren't we all just learning? Aren't we all just small little beebs sucking at Mother Nature's teat of knowledge day in and day out? I don't think that streaming is natural because sometimes people just say stupid shit. Exhibit A was, you know, two seconds ago. And there's no reason for it to be recorded for all of time and placed on some server in California so that people can rewatch it forever. Like, we don't need that. Streaming is weird. Talking to nobody in a room is weird. I'm just gonna put that out there. I couldn't think of anything funny or interesting to say, so I left it blank. Well, that's, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you anyways, Vlad. I appreciate it. We're here to talk to you. Yeah, but is it really talking if I have to read what you're like? It like, you know, it's, it's barely, I don't know. It's the bare minimum of social interaction. I wouldn't constitute this as social interaction, but I do appreciate you all hanging out. Radio has been a thing for a century. What the fuck? is a radio give me your phone number and i'll call you right now oh my god i could put a uh, put a, a voice to the face or a, a voice to the name i could get to know what ritasby although i think i kind of know what you sound like which is gonna sound really creepy until i explain myself so i probably should have just immediately explained myself but when you sent me the video of the cat for the cat lock your voice is in the cat lock so i'm pretty sure that I kind of know what you sound like, is what I'm saying. Uh, let's go Iron Man here. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you're, you're the one that sent me the video about the like stray cat that just like wanders into the street and like blocks you during work, and then you like yelled at, you yelled at the cat from your car. Checkmate. I can AI your voice, sucker. It's way better than being in one gigantic video call where thousands of random people who can do anything on the internet would be. I don't understand. I don't understand what what you mean by that, I'm going to be honest. Oh, amnesia? What a punk. What an absolute punk. Snorlax, you're such a punk. You 100% know what I sound like. Got it. Aha. Next time I'm on Jeopardy and they're like, this, what does Ritasby sound like? I'll be like, ooh, I know. Guys, never mind. I'm watching Celebrity Jeopardy, though, and I love it. Been following and me, I, I've got a homegirl to root for. There's a mass homegirl that made it to the finals. Always love following the shenanigans of Dr. One Ball. Hey, thank you so much, Chef Bobert. Yep, see, that's why we have a Lumberry, because Snorlax has a 100% paralysis rate with Body Slam. Because he's a big, dumb, cheating, bear, dog, cat, Totoro-looking thing. And he cheats. But I'm going to take advantage of that big, dumb, bear, Totoro, cat-looking thing and kick it in the face. Or whatever we kick with a low kick. I guess it makes sense to kick him from the bottom, because it does more... Yeah, yeah. Well, anyways, he's dead now. We've, we've killed him. The king is dead. Long live the king! Heracus. Um... What? Why the effing A did Heracross come out? Because it's got aerial ace. Aces. So, I think... I think here... I think we just go to Iron Man for now. Wait, what? what's my plan here? What is, um...
Oh my god, I have your first and last name so I could steal your identity? That's the tea, sis. That's what I say when my sister comes to visit me and uh, she's like, what is that subway called? Um, that's some, that's some, a Boston reference for you guys. What exactly is the deal here? Like, what is, um, Boston mentioned, take a shot. Wait. This was simply foolish. Uh, we'll stay, you know, whatever, whatever. Sleep talk, we'll sleep talk. Nuzlocker's on Celebrity Jeopardy when? That's what I'm saying. I would kill on Celebrity Jeopardy. Hey, way to get the exact right move, Iron Man. Look at that damage. Damn, Edge. Look at that. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Ah, oh, jeez. That was pretty tight. Wait. Why is my sand slash modest? What are we doing? I'll tell you what you were doing. Wasting a perfectly good Krabby on this bullshit. Oh, that did nothing. That's adorable. That is cheeks. That is cheeks of damage. Here you go. Uh-oh, not knockoff. Oh, no. Nice. Big matey claw. Did you guys see Emma Stone actively applies to be on regular Jeopardy? Ah, you frequent the same Twitter circles as Dana, I see. I did see that. That'd be pretty fun. Best bug turning into bad bug. Yeah. Best bug being a bit naughty, I gotta say. Best bug up to something. All right, this is gonna go grass knot, so we're just gonna go shucker. Electro shucker! God, I almost just randomly watched an episode of uh, Digimon on Hulu the other day. Should I tell you more about things that I almost did? Is that interesting podcasting or whatever this is? It's a podcast for you people not watching my beautiful face. You why? I don't even know what that's a reference to. Why did I know Electroshocker was referencing Digimon? Because I don't think those words have ever been said in unison other than in Digimon. To watch Digimon? You don't like Digimon? Digimon's fire! Digimon's absolute fire! All right, we gotta go to the Pokemon Mansion and do that crap. Also, anybody who doubted me, get, get colossally fucked. Um, do we got any mods in chat? 3% of you got screwed, baby. Digimon Tamer's best season. Is that the one with Terriermon and Renamon? My husband and I have this thing where we argue which is better, Pokemon or Digimon. Okay, well, I mean, it's a biased question out here, but obviously Pokemon is better. But Digimon, that doesn't mean that Digimon isn't fire. Yeah, the Digimon Tamer season is sick. Guillemon and Renamon and Terriermon. Not all of the designs work for me, and it's kind of weird that the little kids are naked when they, like, merge with the Digimon, but you know what I also like? I also like, um, the, uh, the, uh, the one after that. The one where, like, they turn into the Digimon, and there's, like, a, a kid that turns into a little teddy bear, and there's a kid that also turns into a beetle that's a tank. Digimon Frontier, sure, yeah, I don't know. Oh, but also season two is fire. Armadillomon, Hawkmon. Uh, what's the little what's the little guy that Ken has that turns into Sneemon? What is what is his name? Is that just Insectmon? 
all of that stuff's great too. And then the kids are older and they come back, but TK gets Pegasus Mon and Kari gets uh, the Sphinx Mon. Is it Sphinx Mon? I Googled Renamon and I regret it. Yeah, yeah, that, that probably was a bad idea, at least with safe search on off. Wormmon, yeah, Wormmon. And then and then he becomes friends with is his name T not Ty. Who's D Davy? Davis? Davy? Is that the main character of season two? Something like that. I don't know. That whole season's fucking fire. Oh, and he and he can turn uh, and Vmon can turn into Mega Vmon or Flame Dramon or what are the other ones? Renamon is the low pony of Digimon. Yeah. Oh, but she Renamon turns into like the sick ass nine tailed fox thing. Some of her some of her evolutions kind of suck. Also, Terriermon's kind of suck. But but a uh, Giamon. Giamon turns into uh what is what does Giamon turn into? The what's the the one that's just like a bigger version of him? But he has like a little groan. He's like, eh. what is that guy's? Is it what it's not war Gimon, is it? Is it metal Gi No. What is Also, you know who's sick? Garurumon. Oh, Growlmon. Thank you. It's Growlmon. And then Giamon voiced by Steve Blum. Don't know who that is. <laughs> Vlad, you need to fix your YouTube algorithm. Um, Growlmon. Right, right, right. Hi, I got the notification and then you were gone. Happy to... Oh, it's gone. But are you watching Percy Jackson? We watched the first episode. Um, so... It, it was fine. It was fine. But I've... Um, I've become a little disillusioned with with television lately and I'm pretty sick of like television shows that are just fine like that they're not bad but they're just not like wow you know um so I have not really been watching that much TV lately and when I watch an episode and it doesn't hook me immediately I'm like gotta go that's why I stopped watching uh the murder at the end of the world or as it should have been called, the murders at the end of the world. But yeah, the bear, bear is fantastic. What do you mean? I'm a squealing little girl every week over it. Oh, well, I'm glad it works for you. I, I thought it was just eh. The shows like that always feel like they, they're like that show, excuse me, feels very like Marvel TV-esque in that it's like, Here's a bunch of shit that happens for 35 minutes, and then here's a two-minute action scene that would be longer if this was a movie and not a TV show, but because it's a TV show, we can only make a two-minute action scene, but also because it's an IP TV show, we have to have an action scene so that we can put it in the trailer to make it look like a movie, even though it's not really a movie. It's just an extended movie that doesn't have the best of good movies or the best of good TV shows. It's so it just sort of feels like night. kind of a waste of time, especially when it's like, wow, wow, I've been watching this show that's based on a 200 page book for nine hours. And yeah. Not, not to intentionally... Th I, I do think the lightning feed... The one episode I saw, Percy Jackson was fine. But um, it was... It was... I, I don't know. I don't know. It was fine. Uh, it's just like, I, I don't need to be... Like, so I stopped watching Loki and I didn't... I'm not watching Echo because I heard it was mid. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't mean to dump on Percy Jackson, though. And it's a show for children, so it also doesn't matter what I think of it. Time to rewatch Lord of the Rings. I already did that. It's Tuesday in it. Thank you so much for the 16 months courts in session. Loki was actually really good. Yeah, 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 yeah. What a shame we can't have a good on-screen Percy Jackson adaptation. I mean, I don't even know if this is a bad one, and I don't dislike the first one with Logan Lerman. It's not the best, but like at least, at the very least, it's like 90 minutes, so it's only like average for 90 minutes you know so it's like i'm much more willing to watch something average for 90 to 100 minutes than for like eight hours or whatever you know what are we talking about all oh, right we gotta go we gotta go fight the ninjask people and stuff uh 
The Logan Lerman one was nass. Ready G, I would like to introduce you to something called the space bar. But I did understand what you're saying, so that's fine. Um All right, Roms. Definitely watch Loki, you have to. It's just, it's like uh, this uh, and and the guy he's in jail and they they dropped it's just like uh, uh, you know you know you don't understand you have to am i legally required crap i hate the legal system All right, let's take a look at this this fella over. Ooh, we're gonna get a new encounter. We're gonna get some new encounters, fellas. Hey, fellas. Yeah. Um, two twelve, north. It's a shitload of galactic grunts. I think there's ones with like a lunatone and a soul rock apiece, right? That's what's next here. These lunatones have rock slide and psychic. This looks like a job for the dark type. I have. I'm so fortunate that I gave up on Marvel after Eternals and just started rewatching old DC animated shows. Tom Middleton will show up at your house and force you to watch. Who's Tom Middleton? Is that Kate's Kate's like brother or something? I'm an attorney and I can verify you are legally bound to watch Loki. Shit. All right, fine. I'll watch Loki. You meddling twerps. Oh, wow. Bainit just goes dummy dunks, dummy dunks on these Lunatones and Soul Rocks. Don't mind if I do. All right, Bainit, you want some showtime? Go nuts. Go nuts, you big dork. Fucking loser nerd. I don't know why I'm being so mean to Bainit. Seems unnecessary. Where's Skuntank? Skuntank. Yeah, bro, I'll take those odds, bro. Next stream, there will be a Loki quiz, so make sure you pay attention. All right, how many episodes of Loki do I have to watch before Thursday? I've seen the first episode of season two. Bainit is not normal ghost in this type, in this ROM hack. No, that would be too cool. Mr. Claw should go ham on them. Oh my God, I totally forgot about Big Matey Claws. Why are we not using him? Why doth we not doth use doth? Yeah, okay. Okay. Sorry, Skuntank. This looks like a job for Mr. Incredible. Nah, actually, Bane, it's too risky. We do this. Just rewatched all the Hunger Games opinions. Oh. I just rewatched all the Hunger Games too, actually. There was a little while, oh, it was because after I saw the Songbirds of Ballads and Snakes or whatever it is, you know, that movie that's actually secretly two movies in one movie and they didn't know what to do with it? That movie, I saw that movie. And it was one of those things where I was like, this movie's not good, but damn it if I didn't thoroughly enjoy it and would have much rather watched it than most other movies I saw last year. Like, it was just, it was just well, like, like, I'm a sucker for a Hunger Games movie. Put a bunch of people in a room and have them try to kill each other. Like, I don't, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm only human. Call me a capital, or a, uh, a, a, a capital pig. I, I'd, I'd watch the Hunger Games. All of you would. You're all sickos. You know it. You all just want to watch kids and people fight to the death. So I liked that movie. So I was like, you know what? I should rewatch the first couple of Hunger Games and see how they hold up. First Hunger Games? Terrible. First Hunger Games is horrible. I think it's a terrible movie. Um, I think for whatever reason, Gary Ross was like, you know what would make this dystopian movie really cool is if we shook the camera all the time. And so the whole time, it's just like this. Uh, 
Like the whole time, so you can't see shit. They were like, Jason Bourne used a shaky cam, so why don't we do that, but all the time, and make it impossible to get what's going on at all. And maybe that way people will think that it looks ultraviolent and not question why this movie where kids kill each other isn't rated R. Terrible, terrible movie. Awful. But. 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 Then you get to Catching Fire. And damn it, if Catching Fire isn't one of the best movies of that time period. Like, from that type of movie, from the, the, the dystopian teenage sci-fi future thingy. Like, big budget modern blockbuster filmmaking. Catching Fire, I'm being 100% serious, for that type of movie is a 10 out of 10. Actions, solid. Commentary is solid. Acting, solid. All of it's good. It's cool. There's, they like, every, you, you, you turn a corner and, oh, look, that random extra is Jeffrey fucking Wright. Oh my God. Jenna Malone, random, random role, Jenna Malone. Hey, hey, let's throw freaking everybody in this movie. Everybody's an A-list actor and they're acting their asses off and killing each other and fighting and inciting a revolution and, and, and like, just wild. And the arena, yeah, the arena, the, like how they constructed the games, how they telegraphed everything, the the mutants, what they did with Peta and 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 Catnip's relationship, the 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 um the the love triangle, terrible in the movies, horrible. I read the books, yeah, it's convincing. It's like okay, you know, I, I get it. Like there's arguments for and against both Gale and Peter, but. Like, in the movies, it's like, I don't I don't know if it's the writing. I don't know if it's, like, the chemistry between Josh Hutchison and um, Jennifer Lawrence. But, like, it's very, um, I don't know. It's, it, it's not believable. Like, I never believed that she, like, actually cares about PETA, you know? So that's, that's kind of, like, a weakness of all of those movies. But other than that, Catching Fire, 10 out of 10 blockbuster filmmaking. Like, absolutely just beautiful like great great movie so um what was i saying but yeah so like yeah yeah and then you get to the other two the they were like you know what would be fun if we did the harry potter thing but um the 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 books not nearly as good as the deathly hollows um am i allowed to still so, yeah nobody wrote those books so like, pretty impressive um, that they were able to adapt a movie off of a book that wasn't written by anyone. So, and, but, but, yeah, so I think it actually kind of worked to split up those two movies, or the, that book into two movies, because there's so much dense shit in that final book. But what I did not really care for, to be honest, is, uh, are we unable to kill this stupid Solrock? Nah, nah, we got it, we got it, we got it. Trust the process. Um, but Mockingjay, both the weakest of the three books and also just, like, the one where the least happens. So I don't know why they were like, let's take it and break it up into two. I do know why, it's money. But so the first Mockingjay, kind of interesting in theory. I just think there's not enough there to, like, justify a movie. But, like... It, it's like, it, it is cool to see, like, the start of a revolution. Is this bad? Nah, he cosmic powers. Okay. Um, like, so that that part is certainly cool, where, like, like you rarely get to see, like, the, the sort of, like, like, what do you call it? Like, the, um, the, like, logistics of starting a revolution. So I did find that a very cool part of that movie and like, oh, you need to make this symbol and blah, blah, blah. But like, just what, like, I think the source material really suffers or like really forces that movie to like not have a lot to do or a lot of things to like talk about. It is kind of, oh, never mind, I shouldn't bring that up. But uh, there's like, there is some interesting stuff in the movie. It's just not exactly the most effective like source material so both that movie and even the last movie just feel sort of like empty vacuous not a lot's going on um in the the last movie man man the person that was just like what are your thoughts on the hunger games just got like a 12 minute diatribe on the entire series but um the last movie 
I thought was also not that great, but there is a scene in the underground, in the under, under the city, is like incredibly effective, tense filmmaking in a way that you don't really, like there's no score, like you know what's coming if you've read the book, you're just waiting for the mutts to come, the mutants, the mutts, I guess, and like it's the whole part with Finnick and everything. It's, it's very, very effective in the movie. Uh, it's very upsetting, but um, the rest of the movie, uh, uh, whatever. And again, there's like all this PETA. Also, though, the part when PETA strangles Katniss, Jesus Christ, that is like capital V violent. I think that's in the first Mocking Jay, but when that comes out, I know he just like takes her and like throws her against. It's like, dear lord. But um, yeah, honestly, pretty good movies. I would I would watch a Hunger Games movie about all 74 of the previous Hunger Games, all 73. Like. Just show me a couple characters, make me invested in all of them, and then make me sad when they die. Like, that's like the, the purest form of drama. Sign me the frick up, you know? Like, I get that Suzanne Collins wants to say something with them, but also, I don't know. Houses in Connecticut ain't cheap, Suzanne. You want another one? You want another one? Just write some TV. That I would watch as a TV show, like a Hunger Games TV show where each season is just one of the the games. Like, But I don't want to, what I don't necessarily want is like, I don't want to just see the ones where we know the outcomes. And I'm worried that's what they'd do. They'd be like, duh, Haymitch. Let's see Haymitch's game. It's like, bro, we know how Haymitch, like Haymitch, Haymitch, oh, sorry. Just saw your thing, Ready G. Don't mean to shit on you. Um, just saw that comment that you want Hamish's story. I would like to see Hamish's story, but like what I want is to not know who wins and be like, oh my God, like which, which of these characters that I'm equally invested in, like give me like five main characters in a Hunger Games television show. And it's like Squid Game. It's exactly like Squid Game. It's like Squid Game. Let's, yeah, just do Squid Game, but Hunger Games, which is like Hunger Games, but Squid. So like, like just, just, Take the squids out, put hunger. Like, freaking awesome. You want gladiator children fighting to the death? No, 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 Tom Finn Ox. I'm not that barbaric. I want to care about the gladiator children fighting to the death. I want to be heartbroken when the gladiator children die. It's not just about the spectacle of watching gladiator children fight to the death. That's nothing. You can get that on the streets. What you want is you want the emotional investment. You want to be like, I care about that child, and I hate that child. Oh, but that child killed that child. And now, oh my god, I got Rankins in my head. I got six or seven children. I'm all like, I, I want them all to live, but I, I know as a viewer that they all cannot live, and that's, that's the tension of the show. It's right there. It's so easy. It's beautiful. God, I just want to watch. It doesn't even have to be kids. Make them adults. I don't care. It's amazing. That's Squid Game. It's that's why it was Squid Game. It was like you care about number what's her name, the girl, the girl, but and you were like, certainly they'll find a way to save both the girl and the main character of the show. Certainly, this is a television show. You're telling yourself that. That's the whole point of. That's the. The, the genius of Squid Game is they like tell you the premise. It's like only one will live, but you have all these people and you're like, I care about that guy, I care about that guy, I care about her. I even care about the other guy who's kind of a dick, but you care about all of them and only one can live. And it's so freaking good. I want it with Hunger Games. Yes. Okay, kids Squid Games, exactly. Basically. Woo. Whew. I just got worked up. Huh. Splatoon but violent? Are those... Uh, isn't that just Squid Games? <laughs> isn't that also the Squid Game? Oh. So. Right. Right, 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 right. Now we gotta fight the Shedinjas and all this stuff, right? Mm. 
Surely this is not difficult, right? If only there was a Pokemon Squid game. How would that even work? There aren't Nuzlocke just Pokemon Squid games? It was originally a Hunger Games rant. I don't think it was even a rant. What was I ranting about? Somebody asked me a question and I gave my thoughts on the series. It's not a rant. It, the, the Squid Game part turned into a rant, but I don't think it was a rant. Uh, I should probably get a fire type. There's a bunch of bugs and stuff. Oh, also... We can get a new encounter here, yeah? What is... Let's... Well, let's, let's break it up. Let's get an encounter here. It wasn't a rant. It was a monologue. Exactly. Hey, remember the part in The Incredibles when Syndrome is monologuing and Mr. Incredible throws a log at him, a single log at him when he's monologuing? Man, I miss peak Pixar. What are we... Oh, uh, right, right, right. 212 North. Um, Staravia, no. Meryl, no. I don't even remember what's eligible. It's been so long. It was a pitch to NBC for a kid Squid Games television show. No, I want it dramatized. I don't want reality show shit. Don't, don't... If there's a studio ad that's randomly watching this for no freaking reason, don't make a reality show about Squid Game. I know you already did it, but that's stupid. Don't make a Hunger Games reality show. Give me a dramatized version. It, like, j just... It's basic drop. Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm getting all worked up again. I'm getting all, all, all flustered. When was the end of peak Pixar? Well, I was mainly just inciting violence with that comment. There's still good Pixar. But I haven't really liked their last couple movies, to be honest. Um, or not that I haven't liked them, just that they've been average at best. Wait, is this 212? This is not 212. What is this? Oh, this is 212. What the hell are these Pokemon? Oh, wait, I can get Gloom. Okay, I can guarantee Gloom. Or I can fish for a Goldeen. Or I can guarantee Nuzleaf. Which one's better, Nuzleaf or Gloom, which can turn into either Vile Plume or Blossom? Yo, what up, Gongus? You have to have ADHD, right? If it is, it's undiagnosed, but I don't think I have ADHD. Gloom. Chlorophyll or stench? Are you kidding me, Dre? <laughs> at least at least it turns to effect spore with vile plume. Um, it looks like there's no buffs. At least to vile plume. Let's check out Blossom. It's Chlorophyll or Own Tempo. Ooh, Own Temple Pedal Dance? Bueller? All right, I mean, well, let's look at Shiftry. What did Shiftry get? We already have a lot of dark types, and Shiftry got no buffs. Shiftry looks cool as hell. Yo, Clefable Table, how you doing? Also, Dave Cle YouTube, 12 months. That's like a year, dude. Thank you. Thank you, Dave Clue YouTube. Isn't Blossom just better than Vile Plume? I don't know. I I already have my level one hat on. Tea is leaf soup. Damn, that is that is brave. How brave of you to say. So true, bestie. Tea is leaf soup. 
Jesus. I was, I'm going to have to sit with that for a while. That's like... Makes me really rethink everything. Use shift read a swagger setup and sack. What about with milk in it though? Then it's like a then it's like a gumbo or a broth, right? Yeah, coffee is bean. No, coffee is not bean soup. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. Almost as brave as every food is a sandwich. What the fuck is gumbo? Great question. Pretty sure gumbo is like a like a like a thick uh, like Louisiana broth kind of thing. Dracovish, I'm not getting a goldine. Although, let's see if it was buffed. Sea King got holy shit. Sea King got a lot more attack. Thirty more attack. Oh, we could do Sea King. No, I'm not doing Sea King. Um, we'll get Sea King later, maybe if you're lucky, if you're kind. Gumbo is delicious. That's one of those answers that's technically true, but not at all helpful, you know? Um, all right, let's just go Skun Tank. Can freaking... I'm going to not go Shiftry. We have plenty of Dark types. Well, well... Wait, how fast is Shiftry? Shiftry's only 80 speed. <laughs> and it's like frail as fuck, right? I guess it does get sucker punch. Priority is always fun. Wait, does it get sucker punch? Is this the last place to get Shiftry? I mean, I don't know how good any of these Pokemon will be, and we already have a Poison Grass type and Victory Bell. Shiftry is maybe good against Lucian, maybe. Great. Let's use my one of six slots on Shiftry. I don't know. We already beat the Ghost type. Oh, and we've got the Fighting type Gym Leader and the... Uh, let's go with the other one. Let's go with the, the Gloom. Shiftry more like shitty. Got him, T is leaf soup. Got him. Just get gloom. I'm working on it. Jeez. All right, let's just go get gloom. God. Can't believe Farfetch got banned, you sick monsters. Otherwise, we'd get Farfetch because Farfetched is a, a beast. She's a beast. I call her Farfetched. She'll eat your heart out like Jeffrey Farfetched. Too bad Windrider isn't a thing yet. Yeah. Well, Smeargle is also banned, so that's nice. She's a beast. I call her Farfetched. She'll eat your heart out like Jeffrey Farfetched. Because I'm coming at you like a dark Farfetched. Are you ready for a perfect Farfetched? I don't want Smeargle. <laughs> Um, where am I going? I'm going to my communications with Drooby. Is Smeargle dog? Yeah, Smeargle's a beagle. That's why it's Smeargle. Smear and beagle. Smeargle. <laughs> uh, all right, well, we got the glum. She's a beast. I call her Corgi. What, um... Oh, look, I could have better easily... Okay, whatever. Ooh. Zendaya is Michi? Um...
Uh oh. Well, whoops. Um. How does one do damage to this without killing it? Also, this is not a good team to catch a grass type with. Hey, use lucky chance so you can't get crit. Coward, you won't. You won't, coward. She really won't. I'm worried that a crunch crit will kill, so let's just lob a ball. Dude, literally... You suck. Um, what are we naming Gloom? Like, what? You know? Smear Does this not even have Lucky Chant? What are we doing? Surely this has Lucky Chant. It's got Moonlight, Sludge, Lucky Chant, and Mega Drain. Use Lucky Chant. Do it. I think we already have Gamora. Guys, remember, these are Marvel characters. We already have Groot. Pepper Potts, like, because of weed. More like, 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 like Pepper Pot. <laughs> E E P P E R space P O T Pepper Pot. Oh yeah, MJ would work too, but I think we already have a Mary Jane. Do we not? <laughs> One ball each G. Good shit. Good shit, Gloom. Um, do we have Mary Jane? I feel like we already have Mary Jane. Didn't something? I do know that rescue is her, her persona, we, but, but, but we always do rescue. What, um, how, ugh. I mean, we could just name her Pepper, it's fine, but. Oh, uh, no. Sylvie. Yelena Belova. Yelena Belova. Swamp thing. All right, we'll name her Pepper. She can be Pepper. But let's let's take stock of who we have. Cause I don't remember. I could name her Pepper Pot, which is kind of funny. All right. Um. Well, we got we got a, a Gloom. Name her after the girl in Avengers. Yeah, <laughs> Pepper Pig. <laughs> K isn't here. Thank you for the three months, wherever you are. Bella, awesome time. Yeah, or Gloom. I mean, Vile Plume. What's going on, Mati? Not much, Axe Sparkles. What's going on with you? I'm just, I'm just, just struggling through this crazy thing we call life. What, um. All right, first, let's check out Pepper. Docile. Okay, so she's gonna get either own tempo or effect spore. So she doesn't have chlorophyll, which is a bit of a kick in the pants, but. Watching at work, my intake is a no show. Damn those intakes. Oh, we have Gwen, Mantis, Electro, Modoc, Agatha, Ego, Gamora, Widow, Dazzler, Quake, Wolverine, Pepper, Echo. R.I.P. The Thing, Torch, Shocker, Taskmaster, Venom, Groot, Moondragon, Cosmo, Black Bolt, Psylocke, She-Hulk, Nebula, Iron Man, Sandwoman, Cap. Okay, so we don't have a Mary Jane. That might have been better, but whatever. Is there anything I should be doing right now mod-wise? Uh, you could do a super long prediction for Deathless, um, Saturn, 
who's the other guy? Saturn Backlot? Because that's what we're slowly meandering towards. Um, I don't think we need all of these water type homies. Yeah, Saturn. Isn't it Saturn? This is Red and Plat Clefable Table. Get with it. It's a multi battle. Isn't Own Tempo Pedal Dance really good? Well, it would be, but I think the issue is that, like, that, like, it locks me into it. So it's really risky, and I, I can't see too many situations where it will really come into handy. Not a notion in me head, love. Any of the Flanagan Netflix shows? Oh, baby. Time for another rant. If you guys wanted me to watch, if you guys wanted to watch me play Pokemon, you came to the wrong stream. This is a surface level film and television media criticism stream, I guess. Um, what? All right. K isn't here. Thank you for gifting three community subs. That's very, very generous. Wow. Much obliged. Much obliged. Thank you. Wait, does this still have a flamethrower? Hop. Ugh. Can't say I much care for that. You don't take kindly to your kind here. Um, the Flanagan shows. So there's The Haunting of Hill House, The Haunting of Bly Manor, um, the one that nobody watched. And then uh, the vampire one, and then the dope sick meets whatever one, right? So I've watched all of them except Midnight Club. Yeah, Midnight Mass. Midnight Mass. So, guys, 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 if you want something to watch that'll make you think and make you feel and kind of disenchant you from the uh, glorified cult that is most religion, you should watch Midnight Mass because, damn, that is a fire fucking show. That show is so goddamn good. Um, Midnight Mass, incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, the only thing that might be potentially better than it is The Haunting of Hill House, which is his first show, which is just really emotional and about trauma and grief and the passing down of mental illness from parents to children and how that messes with you as a parent and how it messes with you as a child and what trauma your families can bring across different generations and how to go about that and every it's a beautiful beautiful but also kind of spooky show it's great for an october watch but you know what they say that january and february are the october of the early year so there's no reason not to do it now watch that midnight mass incredible um the the bly manor one not my favorite um it they put this weird filter on most of the show that just like makes it look blurry. And it's like supposed to kind of make it feel like a dream sequence, I think, but it just makes it look like shit. And it's like, why am I watching this thing that looks like garbage? I know that Mike Flanagan can shoot a shot. So why does this one look like it's been burned by a match? That was crap. That whole, I, I mean, that's not, that's, that's just one thing. It's just the, the, the acting in it is really good, but, um, that kind of rubbed me the wrong way on the show. The other one didn't watch midnight club or whatever. When was swine up day? February 20th. And then, um, the last one, I thought the, um, the one that just came out, what is that called? The fall of the house of Usher. I thought that one was pretty bad. Um, it had moments of brilliance, but I thought it was quite poor quite poor um i didn't care too much about the characters i thought that the tone bounced around all over the place and it didn't stay still enough to make you 
believe that any of the characters were real people and it wasn't like so crazy or yeah like took itself too seriously to be like full-on campy goopy garbage so like it was in this weird middle zone of being like self-serious but also like really hokey and goofy and stupid um it had very little to say about the stuff that it was exploring outside of like what you can get from a single episode of dope sick or like reading anything about the sacklers so that one wasn't my favorite um it killed most of the characters that i cared about really quickly and then all the other characters were so unbelievably either dumb or evil or ridiculous that i could never fully invest in the show and um i also thought that there's like two timelines and the characters that play younger versions of the other characters don't feel like the same characters whatsoever how would you rate my name nakumati 10 out of 10. Be better if you shaved off the first four letters. But uh, Midnight Mass, seriously, one of the best things I've ever watched. You should absolutely watch it. Just got back from Poor, Poor Things. No, I haven't seen it. That's like the one movie I haven't seen this year. <coughs> it's on my list. I want to see it before the Oscars because Emma's probably going to take it from Lily. <coughs> Did you like it? Um, What am I doing? <laughs> Let's bring Ninjask. Why not? I'd give it a strong seven. Damn, that's pretty harsh, isn't it? No, no, I guess that's a good score, right? <laughs> Probably Yorgo's best film. Damn, Lord Scrublet. Lord Scrublet coming in with the takes. Only thing I watched is Barbie and the new Ghibli movie and a bunch of Netflix shows. I haven't, I also want to see The Boy and the Heron. I really want to see that. But they're like, like half the show times are like the English dub instead of the sub. And I don't really want to see the English dub. I want to see the sub. So it's really hard to find a good time for it. You preferred the lobster? I saw the lobster a long time ago, but I remember not caring for it too much. But his, um, I really like um, the favorite. And what's the other one that he did after the favorite? Colin Farrell, yeah, fair point. What's the one he did after the favorite? The favorite was his most recent? No way, really? Yorgos, what have you been up to, buddy? Oh, Jesus, wow, it's been a it's been a minute, huh? Okay, well, I liked I liked the favorite. <laughs> I also liked Killing of a Sacred Deer. I haven't seen his other stuff. But Killing of the Sacred Deer I liked in the sense that you know, it was like I was pretty weird and fucked up. I don't need to watch it again, though. <laughs> um, all right. On main bet. Oh, this homie doesn't have drill run. I thought this homie had drill run. All right, we're not gonna fight that guy yet. We have to fight all of these people. I tend to defer to horror fans as to its quality. I mean, it's not like horror horror, you know, from what I remember. I don't really remember it all too well. Taylor Swift reference for you guys. But, um, yeah. But you know what I saw recently that I really like? Wait, we didn't talk about this chat. I don't think I was streaming at the time, but did anybody see the Godzilla movie? Godzilla minus one? Cause that was fire. What a great, 
What a great flick. What an absolute banger of a flick. Is that a problem? Nah, it's not a problem. That's just, that's just cinema, baby. Godzilla minus one was fire. Wait, 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 wait. I got to pull out my top 10 list from this year. We could, we could talk about one of my favorite movies of this year, which would put me on, put me on some sort of list and ban me from Twitter. I mean, ban me from uh, Twitch. But you should all watch the movie How to Blow Up a Pipeline. Incredible. Loved that movie. What are we doing next? Krogunk, Savipe, Butterfree. Didn't really like a lot of movies I saw this year. Oh, this was a great year for movies. I, there weren't there weren't a, that many movies that I like loved, you know. But I did like a bunch of them. What's my number one? Uh, my number one is Godzilla minus one. Also, Iron Claw. Oh, Iron Claw was so good. Sar good. Sar good. Presumably, we just kill this. Didn't love, love, like, didn't have a favorite. Yeah, I didn't have a, a favorite either. But there were a lot of, like, movies that I was like, damn, I really enjoyed that. Cinema's back, baby, you know? But, yeah, I suppose there wasn't, like, like one that really, really, really knocked my socks off, you know? Oh, I did see All of Us Strangers, though. I saw that. Um, I'm interested to know what you think about it, Clefable Table. I, I, I enjoyed it a lot, but I did not love the last bit. Uh, and I'll keep it, I'll keep that, it, it that vague. But there was like a part that I really like, like I thought something was incredible. Like, or I thought there was an incredible part. And then I thought there was a part that was like a hat on a hat that I was like, I don't, I don't, I didn't need that. But yeah. Mutant Mayhem? I didn't see. I know it's on Paramount Plus, or it was at some point, so I, I've, I've wanted to see it a bit, but I haven't gotten around to it, unfortunately. Did you like... Wait a, wait a second. Um, we don't have Flamethrower anymore, which is a bit of an issue, so we're just going to have to brute force this. I loved Barbie, but I have always loved Greta Gerwig's work. Yeah, I, I definitely like Lady Bird and Little Women more. And I think I was like, I like got way too caught up in the hype, you know? But it's, it's a very good movie. And Oppenheimer was also very good. But I, I liked Oppenheimer more. Not that they should be compared or that they asked to be compared, but they did release on the same day, so... I'll let you know once I see it. Just love to see the Irish boys. Yeah, well, there are a lot of Irish boys in there. That wasn't an Irish accent. I'm sorry. I can't do an Irish accent. Oh, but did you like Killian Murphy's performance? Hey, hey, Cliff Fable Table, maybe you can answer me this because I always accidentally call him Cillian and Dana's always like, his name's not Cillian, it's Killian. Because every C in Gaelic is, is the K sound, right? Makes sense. Checks out to me. But... Then why is it the Balt the Boston Celtics instead of the Bals the Boston Celtics? Hmm. Yeah, no, I know I know it's Killian, but why is it the Boston Celtics then?
it should have been Celtics. So are you saying, are you saying, you saying that us Americans culturally appropriated something and did it poorly? I don't know. That doesn't check out to me. Name one instance when we've done that. Wait. Murkrow? Murkrow! A level 30 Murkrow? I don't want to... Sounds kind of ass. Exceptions do be existing. It's pronounced Celtic here in Scotland. Oh, so you're like, I like shoddy Pippin on the Boston Celtics. The 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 D and D thing. There are so many Irish in Boston, so IDK how it happened. Yeah, they probably couldn't be bothered. You know, they were like or something maybe i don't know i'm not boston celtic well the celtics are gonna win a ring so maybe they get an exception i've heard that before they never win i've been here for 10 years and they're always like actually the celtics are pretty good this year and then they fucking blow it Boo, you know? Boo! Wake me up when they're in the finals and it's game seven and we've got a chance of winning, but it's not a, a sweep. That's when I'll care about the Celtics getting a ring. I'm still laughing at Cillian Murphy. Look, it's just, it's just like, in my head, I'm always like, there's a right one and there's a wrong one, but it's the one that I don't think that it should be. So then I go, well, it's, I, I being, I feel like right now that it should be Killian. So I'm going to say Cillian. That's just Boston sports though. They are good. And then they blow it. Yeah. You know who else it is? The Phoenix Suns. Like what the fuck Suns? It's like the greatest basketball team that has never won. Like, wh why? Why? What are you guys doing? It's like, there's not much to be proud of in Arizona. Can I please have the Suns be good? Like, actually, like they're like, oh, actually, we're the best in the league. And then they're like, Chris Paul has to fuck it all up or whatever. God. Sports, man. Imagine actually caring about sports. I can't understand how people can be so, like, care so much about it when, like, their teams never win. Like, like, I have to tell myself to not care about any of my sports teams until they're on the verge of winning. Because it's like, otherwise, I, I just get annoyed. And I don't even, like, follow the sports very closely. I just, it's, it's wild. It's wild. It's wild what people put themselves through for brief moments of euphoria, you know? Now that TB and Belichick retired, what's going to happen to Boston from now on? I don't know. We could be entering a really... Uh, a really rough era. Stunky, Venonat, and Chadabuck. <laughs> Suffering is part of the game, but why? Like, is it is it really like like is it just that the like the five percent time that you're euphoric overwhelms the ninety-five percent of the time that you're disappointed? Is that what it is? Or is it like gambler's fallacy where it's like, well, surely they'll win next year because they haven't won in 16 years. Is that what it is? Is it gambler's fallacy? Yes, which one? Gambler's fallacy or moments of brief levity outweigh general depression? Be, be specific, Soviet pancake. And Kai isn't there. It's both? That's depressing. I usually enjoy sports intrinsically, so I don't get the disappointed, but I'm extra happy when my teams are good. I guess that's a good thing. I guess that makes sense. I really only like really like watching a sports game when like it's really close, you know? Who's this homie? Are we just going to snipe him off? Yeah, we are. Smack. 
As a Toronto Maple Leafs fan, it's a gambler's fallacy. The Bruins are supposed to be good this year too, but it's like, do I want to get invested? Do I want to care? Do I want to follow them through the playoffs only for them to lose to some team I've never heard of, like the the new Edmonton Oilers or whatever? Like, I don't know. I don't know if I want that. Is it really worth getting excited only to lose to Canadians? One man can only be so disappointed, you know? Ew, this Sharbok has spit up. That sounds awful. Well, let's hope we can just kill him real quick here. I know we're intimidated, but two crab hammers ought to do it. Oh, we crit. Sick. God, She-Hulk's a beast. She's a beast. I call her She-Hulk. Edmonton is on a heater, says the Leafs fan. Your team is named after a thing that you crunch in the in the fall. Yo, Jumbo Toast, thank you for the 12 months via Prime. And Sheepish Warlord, thank you for the sub via Prime as well. And the follow. Folks, did you know that if you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for free by linking your Prime account to your Twitch account? It takes money out of Jeffrey Bezos' pocket and puts it into mine, and you get free stuff, and it's really cool. It's one of the top five inventions since the 1917 World's Fair. Sports gives us excitement and competition and somehow gives us a sense of belonging. Ah, uh, yeah, no, that makes sense. I will say that sports is indeed the purest form of drama, which I did also say about the Hunger Games, but in a way, the Hunger Games is also just a sport. But like, just like the whole winner loser thing is pretty incredible. And it's why I'm a sucker for a sports movie. Like a mediocre sports movie will be like a better experience for me than a kind of good anything other type of movie. I love everything about sports except watching it, says the guy, person, excuse me, says the person watching video game. <laughs> I don't know what I'm, I don't know where I was going. You should watch Ping Pong, the animation, my favorite sports media ever. Okay, never heard of it. Unholy Chows, thank you so much for the follow. I see you too are a fan of those little adorable things. A solid 40% of conversations with my dad are about whatever sports season it is. That's me with my dad, except for it's the weather in the state that I grew up in. He's like, well, it's kind of warm here in Arizona. I'm like, yep. Kind of cold here in Boston, dad. Sports movies, anime, games, documentaries, love them. Watching sports, bored to tears. Hey, you know what? Fair. Fair enough. It's almost like for all that other stuff, they cut out the boring stuff. <laughs> Um, what, wait, guys, can you remind me which, so in the, the six turns thing, which is the one with the focus sash? Is it the Ninkata, the Shurinja, or the Ninjask? Which ones have, have focus sashes? Ugh. No idea. It's Shurinja. Are we sure it's none of the other ones? Because certainly then our own ninjask just goes, does dummy damage into these suckers. No, the ninjask has a focus sash, you lying thieves. Yeah, that's not fun. Scoundrels. Yeah, all right, we'll just Kingler it. 
It's six turns, right? It's fine. Does the ninja, does the ninkata have, um, it has dig. Ugh. What, six turns? So you have to beat all three grunts in a total of six turns is my understanding. Okay, question from an, for, for the equestrian, Kai isn't there. Why in the Olympics does the horse not get the medal? Huh. Checkmate. Wait. Well, we lost. Damn it. <laughs> I have to do this again. Olympic equestrians are a stain on the community? Damn. Okay, well, we can't win this now, so this is fun. I have to sit here and... It would be funny to try to fit a horse on the podium, so we should do it. That's what I'm saying. This is required, yeah. Unfortunately. Sadly, this is required. But it's fine. We'll just do it again. Oh, holy shit. Shit, you know, at 30... Jesus. Why does this do so much? I probably should have protected, huh? Where are the Olympics this year? It's Paris, right? I can't believe it's an Olympic year. I feel like no one's talking about that. I fucked up because we missed the stupid fella. It's okay, I, I think we can just do this again. That's because 2020 was a fever dream. Yeah, and then didn't the Olympics actually come out in 2021? Or was it even 2022 or something? All right. Fine, I'll try again and just kill the Ninkata like a regular old Joe. I 
2021 was like yesterday. That's what I'm saying, but a surprise, it's 2024, I guess. Don't know how that happened. Aerial Ace Kingler. Yeah, that would have made sense, huh? But it's fine, we just grab him. All right. Dum 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 I don't want to miss, so I'm just knocking off twice. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I mean, it can't crit, so it doesn't really matter, but I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, that wasn't that much damage. Word. Uh, what was that, three turns? Shed Ninja. Shed Ninja! Da -da -da -da. Shed Ninja joins the field. Da -da 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 -da. Da -de -da -de -da. When you start your YouTube channel, Flygon? Oh, when did I? Uh, I think the first video came out like December of 2020, maybe. Something like that. Da -de -de -da. Da -de -da -de -da. Yeah, it's been... We're going on four years now, guys and gals. Pretty cray-cray. A cry cry. I've been watching you since I was a youngin. <laughs> You're getting your degree this year. Nice. In what? Furniture? Will you become Iris Jesus with your carpentry degree? All right, we did it. Beast. You beat all three of us. It took you six turns. Oh, hey, nice job, kiddo. You met the requirements, all right? But who said we have to keep our promises? <laughs> Uh-oh. Fire O Life. Thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. All right. Now we got to figure out the multi battle. So this 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 ought to be good. Speech and language therapy baby with a minor in table construction studies. Sick. Speech and language therapy. That's cool. The fable table. Did you know that when I was a grad student, I worked in a speech sciences lab. I did my dissertation on the voice, the assessment of laryngeal function. So I worked with many SLPs. Thank you for the gifted sub as well, Fire O Life. That's very generous. What can I do for you? What is your PhD in? Biomedical engineering. I thought the voices in the show. Yeah, I did my PhD on the... Uh the cultural impact of the voice of la voz all right um <laughs> let's go to the web view and investigate so german backlot over here has wiggly tough 
Raichu and um, what is this thing called? Espeon. How far in math did you have to go for your degree? Uh, I don't know. I did differential equations and linear algebra and multivariate calc. I think those were the only hard math classes I did. I would totally read a dissertation on the voice. Voice is kind of mathy. All right. Yeah, so we got Jiggle, Jigglepuff, Jigglepuff or whatever here. And then this guy, the the issue with Okay, let's let's pull up two two of these for both friends. Um so the other one is it's Bronzong. Oh damn it. Yeah, sacred gold. Um Also, people keep asking this in like videos, like in the comment section, just Google H Z L A calc. Okay, VOD viewers. And Taylor, put this in the, the highlight if you catch this part, or maybe you just cut it. But if you don't, put this in it. H Z L A calc is what this is. That's how I do my calcs. I don't know what it's called, but it's I, that's what I type into Google to get it. Okay. Um, just link it in the description for life? No. I've learned the hard way that the fewer things that you link in YouTube videos, the better. Because if Google or if the YouTube algorithm suddenly decides that the link is spam, it will demonetize your video. Which is not fun. So yeah, so uh, Saturn has Bronzong, Croaky, and uh, Sp Spludel or whatever this thing's called is Octillery. So I want to focus down this side because it's the easier side, and Bronzong doesn't do much damage. For example, to Mawile, right? Like that's pretty tight. That's a pretty tight spread. So I wonder if we can lead Mawile. And is Iron Head a kill here? It's not. Ooh, Thunderbolt does decent damage, but, but she should just try and kill uh, Senior. Um, who's a call it? You know, she should just want to try and kill uh, the Staravia, so we can get an Iron Head off here. And Thunderbolt is not a crit. And we kind of have to just play around crits here. Also, we might be able to, like, get this to, like, 35. Does that do anything if we got a Metal Coat? A high roll crit. High roll crit. 25% chance to Oko. What's the alternative? A poison type, like, Fella? Fella mode over here? But Hyper Voice, Jesus, that does a lot of damage. Why is Fella mode not good? Why is he so bad? He's minus tag nature. Is Wigglytuff just like filthy good or something? What the shit? Can you please fight someone? <laughs> I hate you! All right, so we're not faster here. Also, the Zen headbutt. Um, about this? Spam that Aqua Jet. Spam that Aqua Jet. Uh, that does nothing. Okay, Wigglytuff, kind of a little dirty bastard. I guess the the, the best bet is is Mawile. The question is whether I want to try and kill him with Rock Tombi or like lower his attack. We also got Taunt. Actually, we don't, but... Alright. 
mods that actually know shit are here. <laughs> um, this fight's always so hard to plan around. The stupid Zong adds so much variance. It's got Zen headbutt though, right? So like... Do we have anything that's faster than... Ooh, actually, Eggy. Eggy is very good here, right? Like, if we can kill Wigglytuff with Mawile... Eggy's no problem here. Oh, but you know who's also good here is Belossum. Because we have own tempo. Yo, Bueller? We have a prediction already. Like, Thunderbolt's too much damage, but... Wait, is he Crunch? Iron Head, Taunt, Rock Tombi. Yeah, so this is this guy's slow. This is a Confused Ray, Hypnosis, whatever. Um, it would mean having to commit to Vile Plume. I mean, to um, Sunflora. The other one, Blossom. But how often do we get to use Blossom, you know? Because, well, let's... Blossom is cooler. That's true. The pole. <laughs> Thanks, mods. Thanks for keeping engagement up. I, I appreciate you. All right, let's take a look at this gloom. Showdown export set to clipboard. So if we do Blossom... And we go to 35. There's not actually that much mandatory shit before this, right? So like Blossom... Yeah, yeah, Blossom's all right here. Oh my god. Come on! This is otherwise phenomenal. Okay, well... It's like this Raichu can't do diddly squat to Blossom here then, right? Yeah, look at that. Damn, Daniel. Oh, I vibe. I vibe with Blossom. All right, let's go Blossom. Him was chatting shit per use. I don't much appre- Oh, wait! We also have Exeggutor. Wait, does this have- This doesn't. Interesting. Oh, this. This gets tickled pink by Skuntank, yeah? Well, not really, but sort of. Skuntank, why are you so bad, buddy? This is adamant nature to Espeon too, Jesus. Um, alternatives are Doom, but it's got Power Gem, damn it. Although, can we be faster? Nar. Uh, where's that damn Gloom? Doom and Gloom up in his room. I mean, we can't really afford to play around crits. I just don't necessarily want to piss away all my best Pokemon. So if I can afford to use shittier Pokemon, I might. Uh, what's my shittiest dark type? Wait, how much does you do? Eh. Huh. All right, well, what about Eggy? 
Does Eggy do good? Eggy do okay. But Eggy do do good. <laughs> do do. Uh, Eggy do do good into uh, the other guy. Okay. Um, ooh. How does Swablu do here? What power gem AI? Get out of here. Um, Altaria evolves at 35, right? Like, Altaria is certainly strong here. Oh, Jesus, Altaria! Oh my god, these Pokemon and their natures and their shitty IVs. You're killing me, Smalls. Oh, but this is a double battle, so homie can't do much with DG. Um, but yeah, Terry's not looking too hot here. All right, so we got three Mons. We got Iron Man, Pepper, and Groot, which do decent into these homies. Sorta. Uh, what about the other homies? We got Bronzong, Dummy Croak, and God, I hate this guy. This guy's got so much freaking juice. Look at this. Look at the juice on this guy. How do you? How do you? I guess Octiller or uh, Poliwhirl. Poliwhirl walls all that. All right. The juice has been stopped. Of course, Polyrath, if this comes out before the other shit is dead, Polyrath is trash. How do you fare against these guys? Not terribly. All right, Polyrath is a potential. Yeah, I, I freaking hate this Octillery. We have any other water immunities? We got dry skin or something. What about you? Narp? Oh, uh, well, we're faster, so we come in on a Zooka and LB kills at, like, 35, presumably. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Storm Drain doesn't do shit. We could do PP over here, P plus, plusy poo. Man, lightning rod would be nice here. Although I guess it's not immunity, huh? Uh, discharge is spread though. We could bring Manny. Fuck, that does that does so much damage to little Manny. With lefties, we guarantee two non crits if, as long as we don't. Get doubled up. I mean, Polly's still definitely the best answer we got this far. Um, does Polly do more with low kick or brick break? Brick break. Okay. Croak. What's my croak answer, huh? Steel ghost type. Where's my age of slash homies at? Um, what about Chareem? Where's Chareem? What good does Chareem Abdul-Jabbar do? Ooh, um, how do you fare against Octillery? Not, not great. Ugh, God damn it. So, I mean, we obviously got the, uh, this guy. But that's just BA for the sake of BA. Um, Zatu would be good. Why must you do this to me? Why must you ta taunt me relentlessly? For whom? For whom is that for? For whom? 
Bruh, these Pokemon suck. You guys really did a number on me. What what resists both poison and fighting? Anything? Oh, duh, ghost type. But it's Bayonet, so it barely resists. Idiot. Anything else? Poison types do, right? Well, this takes neutral from Drain Punch. This probably takes too much from Poison Jab. Yikes. Like a, like a ground flying type wood. Like Gligar, I guess. Uh, how does Sand Slash fare here? Sand Slash might be decent. This is 32 too, so like if we go 35. DP doesn't do too much. Uh, and this is decent into Raichu. Landorus would go crazy here. I'm trying to learn Spanish so I can communicate better with my friends from Spain. I'm not very good yet, but I frequently say the word mucho. It means a lot to them. That's funny. <laughs> Humor acknowledged. Uh, um, what about Whiskash? I mean, Whiskash, same issue, I guess, as Sand Slash just gets dog pounded by uh, whatever. Dude, fuck Toxic Rogue. Fuck this guy. All right, well, let's bring Polyrath and hope for the best. Um, I guess, do we always bait? No, we almost never bait the point. Well, we can we can bait the fighting type move from Mawile and go Jask. Oh man, but Jask doesn't do shit. God damn it. Um, I can get some Intims off, I guess. Doom is probably trash. Although this did just learn Flamethrower, didn't it? Yeah. Okay. Um. Mm. Are we faster? We did, we did also just get Sunny Day, so we could try and do some cheeky Sunny Day shenanigans. And that would also give us Chlorophyll on you. And you. Which might not be such a bad idea against Tillery. And also I can I can I can risk I can risk trick freaking victory bell. Do we even outspeed you? Yeah okay we do. Speed and sun. Okay so oh 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 we can evolve we can evolve the pony too right It's a uh, 36, right? Or 37? 35. Yo. Like, so what about rapid ass? Because that's fast. But it does kind of suck. But it is also a rapid ass. Yo, how does that do so little? Come again? Bruh. This 
my rival have? He has a Snorlax that'll come out at some point. I mean... And Rapidash isn't even fast. 79 doesn't even outspeed this. Come on, Rapidash. And outspeed that either. They're both 87. Yikes. Yeah, so do we have anything that outspeeds? Does Manny outspeed? No. Ninjask outspeeds. Okay, so we're not winning the speed battle. Unless. Unless. We set up the sun! Manual sun? Emmanuel sun? Um, I still don't know how we deal with Crokey, though. I'm sure your rival will be so helpful and not at all fuck you over. <laughs> um... If only I could have a fast psychic type. Do any of my Pokemon have psychic type moves that I'm forgetting about? Ponyta's got that hypnosis gamble. Oh, wait. Leafeon has it. I mean, uh, Glatheon has it. And we're faster. Okay. Hold up. Oh my god, Vacuum Wave does 52. Never mind. Damn it. Oh. But you know who else has it? Freaking this guy. <laughs> That's the play, right? This isn't a timid nature, is it? I thought it was minus defense. All right, well, we are faster with this. Unfortunately, I did not teach us Air Slash, and Poison Jab is a lot of damage, but this is a decent pivot for everything, I think. Um... Uh, I do not care for this one bit. All right, we risk, we, we risk Chimeco. It is what it is. Put him to like 36. Fine, fuck it. Chimeco, Godspeed, my little king. All right, peace, Cliff Able Table. Let Chimeco cook. I'll do my best. <laughs> I'll do my best, JP. What's up, man? How you doing? Nah, trust, man. Trust. We got this. I don't know. I don't love this team, but we're it's what we're going to use. The only one I'm a little hesitant about is this. I believe in this Chimeco. You fucking know it. Do we have a dark type? Narp? All right, I'm bringing the skunk.
Yeah. All right, so when do I evolve little Gloom here? Doom and Gloom up in his room, broken instantly. When his magic little feast, you grant him every wish. All right, so he gets Moonlight at 23, Giga Drain, Toxic, Moonblast. Moonblast at 35. Uh, but what does Blossom learn? Earth Power at 27. Hole up. And I want Earth Power, don't I? For that stupid ass homie. You know who I'm talking about? Talking about Senior Chu. Senior Chu. Well, hello, Dr. Dr. Senior Chu. Uh, looks like we do need Earth Power. Moon Blast! Okay. Uh, all right, so we, we miss out on Moon Blast, but Moon Blast can be taught later. We get Earth Power at 27. Ah, but then we miss out on Jija Drain as well. And I don't love... No, 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 it gets Jija Drain at 27. All right, bet. So do I have a Sunstone or do I have to consult with Daddy Tendo? Nope, we got Sunstone. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're going to do this. Peppa wants to learn Giga Drain. Have you thought about what Mons need to be protected at all costs for the Elite Four? Not at all, Chief. Not even a little bit. <laughs> That is so far in the future. I don't even know if we'll get there. Aw, look at her. She's so cute. Look at how adorable. Earth power. Yummy, yummy. Earth power. Um, so there's an argument to actually have Lucky Chant here, but I think I'd rather just risk the, the stuff. Um, all right. Uh, let's get everybody to 36. Nah, Blossom is not a fairy type in this game. Or at least I freaking hope it's not. Yeah. Um. Ooh, Psychic. All right. So... This is where the fun begins. The question is whether I slap on lumberries or leftovers onto some of these guys. Um, or like metal coat, I guess, potentially for Mawile into, but I don't, I don't think it matters. Well, at 36, Iron Head becomes what? A... 37% chance to forthright one shot. That sounds pretty tight. But then I could be put to sleep or whatever. Yeah, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna put Ah, uh, but we want leftovers for croak. Nah, let's okay, so we're gonna give you a lumberry. Although we have sleep talk. So actually, let's give you Lum, or Lefties.
I I think we might want so we got own tempo on you. I think we probably want Lumberry on you. Bronzongs are levitate, yeah. Can you learn dig? Interesting. It's a little risky in a double battle. No, I think we need to give you leftovers. Because you need... Oh, okay, you already have leftovers. Um, because you're our answer into the Octillery. The Octillery Clinton. Um, I guess we get rid of... Uh, Mudge... Mm. Um, ba 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 Do we get rid of Bubble Beam here? I guess. You have what a post. Aerial Ace. Nobody can learn Aerial Ace. Great. Um, All right, which of my homies can learn Sunny Day here? Most of them. I guess Lucky Chant kind of... No, that's not a setup move. Well, I mean, it is, but, like, I think it's fine if we're using Sunny Day. Uh... Leave it at that. Hey, what is Scun Tank now? All right, let's give it a go.
All right. All right, rival. Here we go. Start off with something sweet, rival man. No, JP, we're not fighting the rival. We're fighting with the rival. All right, here we go. leftovers but I don't know about these other homies uh... no this is these are lums because yeah, yeah yeah okay 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 should be okay should be okay should be okay let's do it let's do it And he seems to be giving instructions to the Clefairy. Pee pee. Happeny wagged its finger. Pee pee. The Clefairy used metronome. The Clefairy used teleport. Moon blast. Well, that guy's dead. Pee pee. Happeny held out something to you. back yay uh yeah so powered shut down again um thanks for those who hung out <laughs> so thankfully we just shit saved so i didn't lose anything but um yeah, we'll, um, I'll, I'll give a second for people to come back if they want to in case they left. That's annoying, man. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, so I'm probably just going to do this and then call it. Um, I think there's just some issues because of snow or whatever in the area. So don't want to push it, but we'll try and do this fight since we built up to it and we have everything. It's what's it. It's indeed. Um, maybe that was the universe's way of saying, don't do the fight. <laughs> um, all right. Well, let's let's go ahead and just just roll into it. Um, yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever. <laughs> let's do it. God wants to save Chimetko? No, no. No, no. Oh. Chimetko will live. Trust, folks. Trust. You better hope it lives, because I don't really have a better answer into it. Actually, that's a... Kind of an issue, isn't it? Ah, oh, whatever. Trust! All right. Oh, God, this could be bad. Love the YouTube comment. First time tuning in for the stream, and in a minute, it died. <laughs> it's your fault, Plinko Devil. It's your fault. All right. 
Happy he better not do it again. I know, right? All right, let's do it. Peeny ha! All right, we already saw all this. It kills the man, and then the power goes out. Happy he don't do it. Okay, we've made it. She gives me the lucky egg, and then she leaves. All right, all right. <laughs> Oh, that, okay, cool. Mati! Woo! I thought you would never end. Keeping that turn limit is hard. So, have we beat all the goons, or are there still more? Oh, ho, ho, there's still more. Who are you, children? Where are the grunts I left? Come along, Mr. Backlot. Yes, yes, I suppose I must. Ah, my poor Pokemon Mansion. You, I recognize your face. You're the child who raided the Team Galactic building in Eterna. Humph! Anything that continues to oppose Team Galactic must be crushed. Come, Mr. Backlot, you'll help me eject these children from your home, yes? Ah, uh, I would prefer not, but I suppose I must. Dre, what's the what's the psychological backstory of this Mr. Backlot? Is he being hypnotized, manipulated? What's going on here? What's what's going on with uh, Mr. Backlot? Is he just a bad person? I don't know. All right, let's team up. I right, let's do it. Okay, here we go. We got to play around a couple turns and the power going out again. Force the battle so they don't hurt. His precious Pokemon. That makes sense. All right, so we got the Intim on Zong, so that homie's doing nothing. And Staravia's gonna use double team, and then Wigglytuff's gonna hit Thunderbolt into it. That's almost always what happens here. Double team. See? See? Every time. That's four for four now. I've done this fight four times every time. Double team is a lie. And Staravia sucks. Alright, let's crit here. Give me the crit, boy, and free my... So Darn it. Oh, we got the... Uh... Got sleep talk, though. Alright, Heracross. Kill Wigglytuff. You see the kill on Wiggly? I know you do, homie. There we go. Good job, Chief. Proud of you, Chief. Oh, fucking god damn it. <laughs> Heracross! Buddy! What are you doing? Great. Okay, well, surely Heracross kills now, right? Yeah, okay, okay. Dear Lord, Heracross, you absolute doofus. Okay, um, I don't know what... That couldn't have been the best move, right? Well, that sucks. All right, Heracross is dead. But that's fine because now the... Uh, the fella will bring in Raichu, right? Oh, yeah, baby. It's all coming together. Raichu, yep. We're going to fake out into Snorlax. We're going to switch into Blossom. Then headbutt into Snorlax's. Oh, hey! Hey! Oh, that's a crit. Hmm. 
may, it may not be that big of a deal. Right to It should be faster. Raichu does at most. Does that, okay, high roll crit Thunderbolt will kill, so we just have to risk that. But we should be fast. It'll probably just teeter dance anyways. It should be faster than Bronzong. Let me just check that. We can just moon, uh, Moonlight. Yeah, Bronzong's 33, we are 40 or 51. Okay. Right. Um, Moonlight. Perfect. Bruh, it's right you. In kind of a douche nozzle. Also, I've seen this Raichu spam teeter dance like nobody's business. What's going on? Moonlight! Yeah, okay. Bronzong missed, body slam into you. Perfect, actually. Because now, now, paralyze? You can't get a paralyze now, Snorlax? Just into me? No? Okay. Got it. All right, he's dead. Homie's dead. So now it's just the Espeon. Zen headbutt into Lax. Into me again? What is this guy doing? What is he cooking? Oh, huge. Good job, King Lax. Okay, he lives. Um. So what I want to do here is stay in, but I'm risking a psychic crit, or I guess also kind of risking a double up. My guess is that the Espeon just protects, though. But actually, I can go Groot, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, just protects. Okay, so I could have healed for free, but that's fine. Snorlax gets para. That is fine, Chief. That should do nothing. That's a crit. What? That's not a crit? Dear Lord. Wait, maybe I don't want to put up the sun then. That did so much damage. Why is that? It's intimidated, right? Why did that do so much? This is only supposed to do 12 to 15 damage. Oh, right, he's paralyzed. God damn it. Yikes. So a crit here is going to kill me. Stupid Snorlax. Uh, dude, that's bad, bro. <laughs> well, 
Wait, that's really bad. Like, so non-crit does 32 to 39%. So Hyrule does 45, and then Power Gem does... 37. Yeah, a double up just kills me. But I don't have like I don't have a switch. I can int him again with my uh with uh with Mawile. But yeah, gyro ball crit just kills me. Just like straight up. What about Polly? Gyro Ball Kill doesn't crit. It's Tuesday, in it, bruv. How are we holding up? Um, all right, all right, Snorlax, we need to clutch up here and two shot this Espeon. We're going to go Polly and then Iron Man. Fuck, man. All right. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. Um, Espeon. Espeon should see Psychic. How much does that do to Mawile? A lot. But it should never Gyro Ball Nebula. It should always Zen Headbutt. So this could give me a safe switch into... All right, we're going to have to risk Psylocke here. Fine. Nice. I think we just risked the crit here. Question is, do I kill Bronzong? Oh. 
All right. I think we just go for the kill on Espeon. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's fine. I don't know why you did that, but that's fine. Okay, so we at least get a hit off before Psylocke goes down. You gonna go down here, buddy? Come on, Snorlax. Body slam this stupid Espeon. Kill? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, dodge the crit here, Psylocke. Okay, kill it. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Ah, okay, well at least it'll target that down. Okay. Sure. Double paralysis? Nice, way to miss. Huge. Actually, actually fucking incredible. Okay, uh... <laughs> King Lax can't be tamed. Can't be tamed. I mean, this is his fault. He did paralyze Bronzong, but, uh... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right. All right. It ain't ogre until it's ogre, though. We still got this uh, Toxicroak. Honestly, I probably should have set up Sunny Day. Is that homie's coming out next, right? No, Octillery. Octillery Clinton? What is my answer into her? Poliwath? Who has... I mean, surely Octillery Clinton just kills Snorlax. Um, we're safe to a crit. The issue is I don't know if I want to necessarily take damage on Psylocke for no reason. So I think we go Nebby. Um, how much does ch 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 you do? Yeah. All right. No one cares about your damn emails, Octillery. Uh, that's good damage. And he missed again. Snorlax is a sitting paralyzed duck and these guys are blind. Pokemon go to the polls. Literally, nobody kills Snorlax. You can't kill Snorlax. <laughs> uh, Polyrath should be safe to a crit here, yeah. That. <laughs> Slap a pantsuit on that octopus. You'd need a custom-tailored pantsuit with eight legs or whatever. Actually, does Octillery even have eight legs? Watch that not kill. Two pantsuits, it has eight limbs, yeah. You can't kill Snorlax until he just did, but yeah. Um, I fear that homie Prinplup is going to try and activate my own water absorb, so I probably should not switch. I think Echo. I don't. I don't think Echo's a play here. 
Plus, homie print plup takes these. We'll just keep mud shotting. Yeah. Don't make me look like an idiot. Oh, you dick! What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, Barry? Are you kidding me? What a jackass! Are you kidding? Alright. Dear God, you colossal moron! Take out this print bluff? <laughs> what a douche! Okay, we're still not dead to a crit. I think we're dead to a crit high roll poison. But... Whatever. Hey, hit me with a scald, I guess. Just kill him. Just kill him. Just kill him. Just use peck. Or whatever you have. Oh my god. Yeah, he is healing me up. But whatever. You know what? Fine. 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 I'll take it. Prinplup. You're an idiot. You're an idiot, Prinplup. Well, despite Prinplup's best intentions, we did win that fight. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, good thing we also didn't switch to Skun Tank or he would have just killed us. <laughs> <gasps> Chimeco did quite a lot this fight. Without the bell, you probably would have lost. Yeah, that's a good point. Should have swapped to the bell at the end there, huh? He did heal me with the second scald. Yeah, that's true, but what if he didn't do that? What if what if I had switched out and he had killed my Pokemon? He did that once in my first attempt. He flame wheeled into my flash fire Pokemon, but I switched out. So he killed me. Nice. All right, we did it. Okay, stupid Barry. What a douche. All right, let's save before the snowstorm shuts me out. Okay, um... Wasn't it flamethrower into flash fire? Okay, whatever, I don't know. Um, all right, let's get the encounter here and then I think I'm gonna wrap up for the day. But I wanna see something. In 209, Mm, we can get a fairy type at 209. Cool. But in Trophy Garden, I would love to get Eevee. Though I could also get Igglybuff. It's a 50-50 on either Igglybuff or Eevee. I think. But if we get another Eevee, that would be tight. As long as people don't think that's cheating. I guess that's kind of cheating. They're in the same evolution. I don't know. That Maybe that species clause. Yeah, I think that would be a dupe.
You guys can vote on the poll if you want. Yeah, sure, why not? Um... Igly buff gets stabbed, 250 base power explosion. <laughs> He's really good exactly once. What is Igglybuff's base attack? I'd be shocked if it was higher than 10. Um, I think those are the only Pokemon, right? The other ones are all banned. Uh, Pichu. Oh, I could also get Cast Form, I guess. Is Cast Form any good in this? Hi, TJ. Porygon Z is banned. Chansey and Blissey are obviously banned. I think Clefable is banned, yeah. And P uh, Raichu is banned. Cast form will be the goat at setting up weather. Something tells me that's not true. I think I might ha rather have the double immunity Iggly buff. Yeah, cast form. Oh. It's a weird buff. It got debuffed in HP attack defense, but got a lot more special attack and a lot more speed. But like, I feel like you're trolling me, Gongus, with this setting up weather shit. I don't see how cast form reliably ever sets up weather with 60, 60, 70 base stats. Believe. The convincing argument. It really is. <laughs> All right, do I go cast form? All right, I think that's too many people saying that. Nah, that's cheating. So we're not going Eevee. No Eevee. So it's either Iggly buff or cast form. I don't like... If, if it was like 90-10, I would have done it, but... I don't... I don't know. I don't know. No Eevee. We don't need a second Eevee. I am, of course, allowed to evolve Igglybuff, yes. But the question is, is Wiggly better than Cast Form? I mean, Cast Form has 95 speed. But without rain, like, we have to manually set up our own rain. <laughs> I think we go Wiggly. Oh shit, homie can have magic guard? Life orb, wiggly tough? I 
All right, whatever. Let's just go Igly. Would have been great for Fantina, but whatever. Well, <laughs> or Yeah, no, because, like, I wouldn't get two glooms, you know? We're not getting cast form. We're going Wiggly. Do we're, we're doing Wiggly. This is an adorable Pichu sprite. Look at that sprite. What is that? Is that platinum? Is that what Pichu looks like in platinum? I guess I've never seen a Pichu in platinum. Oh, just turned to five. Working nine to... Why, oh, they really want me to get Eevee. I don't know, guys. They really want me to get Eevee. Close. I was close. Oh my god, this is taking too long. Ugh. Throw up. Cleffa greater than Igly buff? Well, yeah. Obviously. Obviously. Guys, cast form is Pokey Radar, so I'm not going to get it unless I intentionally go for it. Ugh. All right, I'll go one radar, because that's funny. I'll go one radar. Ah, <laughs> I thought it was. I thought it was going to be cast form. <laughs> There she is. That's an incredibly pink homie. All right, Igly Buff. Igly Buff! And it was Draining Kiss, Copycat, Sweet Kiss, and Pound. Well, I'm not trying to get pounded by an Igly Buff. Her eyes look extra red. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll have what she's having. Nye! A little late on the throw. Duh. Bruh. 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 This is Mary Jane. <laughs> yeah, okay. Igly buff in my uh what what is it it's called your blank blunt rotation like your your peak blunt rotation celebrity blunt rotation what is it Whew. 
Dream. Dream blunt rotation. Thank you. One ball HG. Boom. It has a soft and bouncy body. Once it starts bouncing, it becomes impossible to stop. Damn. She's a beat. Butte. All right, Iggly Buff. Mama's hooked on Mary Jane. Daddy's hooked on Mary Kane. Mary's hooked on Mary three doors down. Um... I can't stop. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm bouncing and I can't stop. Please, God. Please stop. Please help me stop. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm, I'm going to die. Oh, oh, God. I'm so good at this game. I'm not gonna lie, folks. Pretty surprised we made it out of that death list. I thought that uh, Bronzong was absolutely gonna kill a friend or something. But you know what they say. We definitely got cute charm, Iggly Buff, though. No way in Heffalump we got Magic Guard. No shot. No shot. Prepare for disappointment. Prepare for absolute disappointment. Naughty trash. Oh, wait. It is Magic Guard. Wow, look at that. Nice. Nice! All right. Um, In 209, we can get Glammeow. Uh, Pseudo Wudo Band? No. Okay, so we can get Glammeow. Bonds Lie. Grand Bull or Meowth. What that Meowth do. Or we could try and go Pokey Radar Perugly. Or we could finally get Goldeen. Or we could guarantee Noctowl. Naughty Nature makes Explosion even better. Life Orb Explosion! What do I have next? Uh, Maylene? I feel like normal types are kind of ass now. Perugly? Why would, why would, why? Why Perugly? Oh, Perugly got some buffs. Got some buffs it did. Swagger psych up strats. Yeah. Noctile is still normal flying. It got a little bit of a buff, but I don't think enough to warrant getting it. I mean, a rock type can't hurt. And Snubble is a fairy type. So I think I want to go snu like go for the bull. Grab the bull by the horns, if you know what I mean. Um, did Pseudo Wudo get buffed? Oh, Wudo, no. Pseudo Wudo did get buffed. A decent amount, too. Damn, damn. Omi's strong. Yeah, okay, let's go for Pseudo. Let's go for the Pseudo Wudo. Uh, is there any way to repel Manip? Nar. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, nothing. 
Are there nerfs in this game too, or only buffs? Uh, sometimes Pokemon get certain stats lowered so that other stats can be raised, but to keep the base stat total from not getting too crazy or for the Pokemon getting too out of control. So like Ladian gets a special defense nerf, I think, and more attack, stuff like that. Rockhead head smash goes kind of hard. All right, let's try it. Well, we got Glammy out, so say la vie. Say la corgi. The hell is this Pokemon? I don't think I've literally ever used this Pokemon. 25, it's got assist slash charm and faint attack. Also, I forgot to get great balls. Oopsie doopsie, as the kids say. Well, let's yawn it. Glammeow evolves into Iglybuff? Yeah, bet. Well, that does nothing. Jesus. What? Um... What do you know? Is there any way to damage this? Kind of not, right? I got rid of Leech Seed. Yeah, all of this does too much damage. I'm sure a mud shot doesn't kill you. Her ugly stands rise up. Black Panther for the nickname. T'Challa? That's kind of uh, an insult, but... To chubby. <laughs> Can we name him to Chubby? One ball HG. It hides its spiteful tendency of hooking its claws into the nose of its trainer if it isn't fed. <laughs> Name him to Chubby. <laughs> I think to Chubby is really funny, but like, is it not cool? I'll give somebody a second to be like, no, don't do that. That's not nice. <laughs> don't do it. Uh-oh, Fernzilla says no. Why? Fine. Evoli says no. I trust Evoli. You saying no, Evoli? It's so funny. It's just a fat cat, right? <sighs> you don't like disrespecting the dead? No, it's not. How is it disrespecting the dead? It would be disrespecting fat people, if anything. It's not disrespecting Chadwick Boseman. But whatever. Make sure I spelled it right.
Hmm. All right, brave. Uh, it's not terrible, but it's also kind of terrible. Can't get paralyzed, I guess. All right. Well, that's that. Uh, we'll do more on Thursday. Hopefully this is the end of the, the shutdowns. Uh, we can also guarantee Murkrow from Lost Tower, which is nice. And then we can get something from 210. Ooh, something I did not, I neglected to think about is that South 210, if I get Nuzzly, if I could have guaranteed something else because I could have gotten Pinsir. Or Miltank. Yeah, Miltank and Tauros. Damn, damn, I should have gotten Nuzzly from the Honey Tree. Oh well. Well, we needed Blossom. Blossom did okay. Actually, no, it didn't. It got crit, and then we had to immediately switch out. What am I talking about? You did terribly. <laughs> Then we'll get more encounters on 215. We can get Numo, Spoink, or Cacnea on 214, or Spinda, I guess. We can guarantee Diglett from Maniac Tunnel. Potential, it uh, looks like guaranteed Giraffe from Valor Lakefront. That's cool. Psychic type, or Venomoth. And then, Chatot banned? Wow, Chatot is banned. Can I get nothing on this route? That sucks. Is Float Soul banned? Bruh. Oh, but I can get Remoraid or Whalmer. Right, Octillery and Whalord. Nice, 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 nice. Or Honey Tree Noctowl. So, it is what it is. And then Great Marsh. Wow, we got a lot of encounters. We can also get 212 South. There's a lot going on. A lot going on. All right, we will do that all on Thursday and hopefully take on Maylene. So, yeah. All right. All right. Let's hop into a raid. Um, who's live? Who's live? Anybody got any recommendations? Pointless proceed. Bloody's not doing Pokemon stuff. Otherwise... I would do it. We'll do pointless proceed. All right. We raided Wacko last time. Got to spread the love a little bit. Make some new friends, you know? So, go give her some love. She's doing what? Garbage green? Cool. All right, um, hopefully there's no more issues on Thursday. Fingers crossed. Until then, I'll see you all next time, okay? Thanks for hanging out. Glad we were able to beat that thingy. Okay. All right, spam some raid emotes. Go give them some love. Peace.